I don't want to hear about the radical left when these are just like threatening to start a civil war because they didn't get their way. You know, they lost the election, civil war. Your cult leader got raided by the FBI because he had top secret documents that he wasn't supposed to have, civil war. Hi, it's Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video, and this time we're talking war. That's right, civil war. Yeah, these fat, out of shape militia idiots hanging out in the hills of Mississippi and Georgia and practicing in the desert out in Idaho actually talk about civil war. Go ahead. Go ahead, please attack the United States government, attack federal buildings, attack the FBI, and find out just how powerful a fighting force the United States government is, all right? This isn't Trump's government that lets you take over a military, I mean, take over a, a federal park or federal lands and let get, no, this is the Biden administration. This is the constitutional administration. Attack and see what happens. You had one of your idiots attacked an FBI office. He was dead that day. Do you really think you stand a chance against the United States military, the largest and probably most powerful fighting force in the world with a bunch of fat militiamen from the hills of Mississippi and Georgia? Yeah, maybe 10% of you are in shape. That ain't enough. And then they'll be like, well, what if, what if they raided Hillary Clinton or Hunter Biden? F them. Let's raid them. Anyone who commits any crimes at all, raid them. I don't give a f I don't care what Democrat it is. I am so tired of giving these idiots and their threats any credibility. Let them try. Let them try. Like I said, say 10% of them are trained and in shape. Maybe I'm going to be generous. Say 20% of the United States military joins with the militias and fights. You know what that leaves? That leaves 80% of the United States military protecting the Constitution and protecting the people of this country. You idiots couldn't win a civil war when you had half the country, and you really think you're going to try? Who's going to lead you? Josh Hawley? Yeah, he'll lead you in running away. How dare you talk about civil war? Just try it. Step up, okay? This is the United States military. They know how to fight. They know how to organize. This is so ridiculous. Oh, if they went after Trump, they can go after me. Yeah, you break federal law and the FBI comes after you. Then you attack an FBI office and they kill all of you. Why? Because they're trained FBI people and you're stupid. This isn't the cops from Uvalde. This isn't a bunch of cowards. These are real military trained people. They know how to fight. Challenge them. Find out. And I've also heard people say, oh, well, if they can do this to Trump, they can do this to anyone. Bro, I don't know about you, but I don't have top secret documents just chilling in like my closet. So I'm fairly certain the FBI is not about to bust in here. Oh, you have guns too? Really? You know who has guns? The United States Army. You know your AR-15? Yeah, that's your big gun. That's the M-16, their smallest gun. Oh, but you got a 4x4 four four pickup and a side-by-side. -side. Guess what? They have tanks and drones. Challenge them. Test them. See what they got. They'd love to try it. I know the U.S. military won't fight on American soil, but if you attack the government, I suspect they just might. And I'm just talking about the Army. Don't let the Marines get involved because the Marines kick ass on a level you cannot comprehend. The Air Force, they might not even leave the golf course to blow you up with their drones. The Navy won't even get involved. You know why? Because your fishing boat ain't raided for the ocean and they don't have anything to put on the lake, you idiots threatening a civil war. How dare you? How dare And why does, a mili does the media continue to give any credibility to this? These are idiots. These are cowards. Who's going to lead them? Ted Cruz? Huh? Marjorie Taylor Greene? Lauren Boebert? You want to go to war with Boebert in charge? Good luck with that one. They really are taking the stance of, oh, if you break the law, if you commit crimes, you could get raided. Yeah, that's the whole point. You want to challenge the army? Really? Remember Katrina? Remember Hurricane Katrina? Remember New Orleans? Total chaos, okay? Complete breakdown of law enforcement, infrastructure, people in the streets, no homes. It was a mess. Took the army a week. The army came and took them a week to put it back together, an entire city. You want to challenge them? You're upset because Trump was raided at Mir Lago? Guess what? He was stealing nuclear secrets. That's, that's illegal and treason on the highest level. 
You know what else is treason? Attacking the U.S. government. So try your luck. I Please, I beg of you, try your luck with your, we have guns and some bitch, I got four by four. This isn't, this isn't the government in Michigan when they just let you walk around with your guns pretending you were doing something. This is the United States government. And I think, I'm pretty sure, they are tired of your asses. After January 6th, they are tired. I think there is some... Cop, Capitol Police that would love some payback. So attack, attack police departments, attack the FBI, attack any group with letters, attack the U.S. Army, attack a Marine base and let me know how that works out for you. Good luck, hillbillies.